Welcome to the A to Z of Virtual Fighter, a series where we try to get to know the complicated world of Virtual Fighter 5 Ultimate Showdown one letter at a time. Today, W Walls. This one was difficult to cover. In fact, this is the second time I've tried because when I started to record my examples last time, I noticed that there were too many exceptions to the things I was talking about, to the point where it basically wasn't worth showing them. When I reached out to the wonderful Virtual Fighter community to ask for help, it was a relief to hear from some of the veterans that even they struggled to get their heads around some of the wall concepts, or at least apply them consistently on some of the more awkward stages. A good description from the Virtual Fighter veteran, Chan Chai, was that in a lawbound game like this, where a successful evade is always a successful evade, and a mid is always a mid, the walls are one of the few analogue components where the answer to any given situation can be, it depends. It might sound like it's sticking out a little bit compared to other mechanics in Virtual Fighter, but this is ultimately a good thing. It provides a potentially unlimited cap on progression for serious Virtual Fighter players. Once you've mastered all the fixed stuff, better awareness and reactive ability when it comes to managing an unexpected wall bounce could make all the difference at a high level. Whether it's not dropping your combo if it gets too close to a wall, or knowing how to convert into a full combo if the opponent gets caught mashing and ends up in a wall splat, this small element of chaos could make or break a round. So even if you can't master all of it, a bit of knowledge goes a long way. For example, there are some known consistent behaviours for some things. There's a finite number of types of interaction, namely wall hits, wall side hits, wall staggers, wall splats, high slumps, low slumps, bounds, and whatever the name for this one is, nobody seems to agree. And there's a relative recipe to the order that you want to do them in too. Usually a hit, stagger or splat to start the combo, followed by a bound, a wall hit, a bound, a wall hit, a bound, a wall hit, etc, etc, into some kind of combo ender. This combo logic is a rule of thumb and isn't universal, but tends to work because of a handful of other rules that apply to wall hit behaviours. For starters, the moves that can wall splat an opponent, usually the linear attacks that you have that cause hard knockdowns anywhere else on the stage, can only wall splat once. If your combo has already caused a wall splat, all wall splat moves that happen after that will cause wall slumps, which cause the enemy to slide down the wall and land face up, feet towards. Since loads of the other wall hit types cause bounces that make the combo last longer, and a lot of these effects cause the enemy to land face down head towards, which is much better for the attacker, you tend to want to get your splat in early and get it out of the way so you can focus on bouncing the opponent around and getting the good knockdown afterwards. The reason for trying to alternate between the bound attacks which keep the opponent in place and the wall hits which bounce the opponent is to both maintain a high juggle but also because there's another rule where the opponent is safe for a split second after a wall hit from being wall hit again. So the bound maintains the combo while allowing this safety window to cool down. One other consistent rule here is that the difference between either a wall hit or a side hit and a wall stagger is how much damage the attack does, with anything dealing out 21 or more damage resulting in the joystick animation of a wall stagger and the vulnerability that comes with it. So usually this is where the big damage starts. So hopefully you see there, there's more walls than simply learning your optimal wall combos. I'd strongly recommend Lau's combo guide on virtualfighter.com. Thanks to Q for the tip on that one. As the Lau community has actually listed an array of combos based off whatever the first hit effect is, rather than the move itself, which is great for preparing you for any situation like this. Thanks for watching. For more A to Z of Virtual Fighter, check out the playlist in the description, or subscribe to be the first to know about the next one. I'll see you online.